Well, good day, everyone. May the peace of Christ be with you today and this entire week. As Deacon Stewart said yesterday, this is the fifth week of Lent, and we hope your Lenten journey is having a positive effect on your spiritual life. Our gospel passage today opens with Jesus traveling to Jerusalem. When he arrives, he enters the city through the Sheep Gate, which is one of several entrances into Jerusalem. Near this gate was a pool called Bethsaida. This was a large area that had five entrances. And these five entrances were filled with the sick and the lame and the dying. Lying at the Sheep Gate was a man who had been there for 38 years. And when Jesus came into Jerusalem, he saw the man lying on the floor. Jesus could tell from the man's debilitated appearance that he had been ill for many years. So he quietly walks over to the man and asks him a simple but powerful question. Do you want to be well? The men did not answer the question that Jesus had posed. Rather, he said to Jesus, I have no one to help me into the water when it's stirred up. He told Jesus that by the time he got to the pool, others had already gotten into the water and there was no room for him. Jesus listened intently to the man and then quietly yet powerfully told him to stand up, take his mat and walk. Jesus did not perform a dramatic attention seeking healing. Rather, he quietly and lovingly spoke to the man. The man immediately stands up, picks up his mat and walks. It must have taken him a few moments to get his balance after not using his legs for so much time. But can you imagine this moment? What a life-changing instant it was for this man. He'd been on the sidelines of life for many years, and now he could be active and involved once again. Perhaps he could even have a trade. No longer would he have to beg and be pitied. Perhaps he would be able to help other people who were ill, poor, and unable to sustain themselves. When Jesus spoke the words, rise, take up your mat and walk, a whole new world opened for this man. A whole new set of possibilities became a reality. Those simple yet healing words changed the man and his life forever. What a wonderful gift to be given and what an amazing gift to receive. Today, may we be open to listening to Jesus' healing words for us. May we be attentive and listen with the ears of our hearts. And when we hear God say to us, rise up, my child, and be what it is I created you to be, may we immediately stand up and embrace the new life that God has given us. St. Herbert, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.